Hello everyone, can I, I'm just checking if I'm audible. If I'm audible, can you please mention it in the chat? Can you please mention if I'm audible in the chat? Yes, uh, good evening everyone. As uh, Krishi sir had mentioned, I am Jesse Francis. I will be handing this session for you. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you everyone for the quick response. Well, it's a good evening, isn't it? So, yeah, just to get the interaction going, let's start off with a small activity. Go to your emoji section and pick an emoji about how you feel right now just quickly send the emoji in one emoji about how you feel right now quickly just to get the chat going on because during the session more the interaction the better the session is going to be so to get it going quickly send in some emojis whatever you are feeling right now or anything just send it in straight into the chat. Well, almost everyone is happy. That's a very pleasant thing to see. Wonderful, wonderful. As the reactions are coming in, Let's go to the slides and keep it flowing. Don't stop. I'll quickly give you an introduction. So today we are going to talk about the session. We are going to talk about something called analogy. And we'll be, the session will be in English. And as Krishi sir had mentioned, in, uh, in, uh, as Krishisa had mentioned, session will be in English and in case you have any doubts, you can ask either your, uh, either the those who are viewing, the, uh, others who are viewing, or I'll try to step in and try to explain it myself. But I'll be mostly speaking in English throughout the session. If you have a doubt, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, I'm Jesse Francis and I teach at St. Joseph's University. St. Joseph's University is in Bangalore and I am from the Department of Mathematics. Krishi sir and I were classmates back in Pondicherry University. St. Joseph's University uh, was established in 1882 and it is one of the leading colleges in, in, uh, colleges in India and one of the best things that I love about university is the young and vibrant faculty that you will see out there. Well, that's a bit about the place I work at. Now, going forward, throughout the session, there'll be many stories that I tell you. There'll be many facts or many quotes and many things that we talk about. You sh what you can do is, especially since it's about your verbal ability, when I'm telling the stories or when I am saying an uh, incident, you can listen to it carefully and make a note of any words that caught your attention. Is there any special words that caught your attention or is there anything about the words that we are talking about that, uh, uh, the, that we are talking about that may help you out? Make a note of those words. If you do not know any words that we spoke about in the session, that you did not understand the meaning of. Quickly ask in the chat box. I am watching the chat box alongside. Yes, good evening, Bal Krishna, and uh, good evening, everyone. So let's get to the session. Now, back when I was a child, my dad, who was a journalist, he used to always ins insist on us reading newspapers. It is very, it is sometimes very 
not happy thing, right? When you are a child, all you want to do is play. And all of a sudden, here's your dad telling you that you should read newspapers. And we used to have subscribed to around five or six newspapers at home. Two or three English, two or three in local language. And it used to be, every morning starts with newspaper. Back then, I didn't realize why it is useful. But nowadays, when I speak, there are times when I say some words and I'll be like, where did I read this? How do I know this word? Now I'm starting to realize that all those words I had learned from reading that I did back when I was a child. And they have stuck to my memory and they come back when it's needed. So it's about building our vocabulary. And especially this section of gate tests how well is your vocabulary is the question here in English. Now, some of us may have worked on it over the time. Some of us may be working on it now. Some of us may be yet to start, but it's never too late. And this is one skill that you can pick up. You can start working on now, mainly because you would require it wherever you go. When you're going for an interview, you might require your, your vocabulary may be tested. If you're going to write a letter or if you're going to write something, your vocabulary is re uh, required because it lets you express your ideas better. More words you know, better you can ex express your ideas. Well, with that context about my childhood where I had to read newspapers, let me go ahead. I am not sure how many of you recognize this slide. This is, who is this man? How many of you can recognize this? Many in their late 30s, uh, late uh, 20s and early 90s. That is, post 25 to 30, we call it late 30s. And early, uh, late 29, uh, late 20s and then early 30s is 30 to 35. So many would recognize this guy, right? Shaktiman, yes, you're right. <laughs> it was very nostalgic for us because we grew up watching Shaktiman. It's like Sunday, no matter what happens across the globe, 12 o'clock, we'll be in front of the TV just to watch Shaktiman. It was very nostalgic. It is very emotional and touching thing from past for us. Now, what? Oh, yes, uh, Pooja seems to remember the name, uh, the name that Shaktiman used to use, Gangadhar. Om Gangadhar, Omkadhar, Vidya. I think Vidyadhar Omkadhar Gangadhar Shastri. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Mukhayushkana is the Shaktiman. All good. Now, something that I never anticipated is the Shaktiman movie, which is about to be released this year. Back in those days, we never thought in future we may see a Shaktiman movie because that was 20 years ago. Now, we never anticipated about such a movie coming and turns out it is going to come out this year and very excitedly waiting about it. Well, as I had told you, if there were any words that you thought were interesting from whatever I spoke till now, make a note of it. And I have tried to explain its meaning vaguely to you. If it Whatever you understood, try to make a note of it because it may help us later. All right. Well, before we go to the questions, one thing that Krishna sir and I, when we were from the day one of writing the book, used to focus on. It is never about getting the solution. It is always about how do I understand the question better? What kind of facts should I use? And what is a trick which I can use? Especially in this context, I only need the first two points. How do I understand the question better? And what kind of facts should I know to solve these kind of questions? Especially in case of analogy. All right. So while you're preparing, it's never about getting the solution, but rather training yourself to do these two things, especially in verbal ability. Well, let's get to it. The first question. First question is, nostalgia is to anticipation as dash is to dash. 
Which one of the following options maintain a similar logical relation in the above sentence? Simple question. Options are present and past, A, B, future and past, C, past and future, D, future and present. As it is never about me giving you the solution as I already established. It's about you trying to solve it. So I'm going to run a timer. You see this black bar at the bottom. It's just going to start disappearing. So give a shot. Post your answer in the chat box. Try to think it's all right. Try to guess and post your answer in the chat box. Even if you do not know, make a guess. What could it be? Omkar and Anuka has come up with their choices. What about others? Preeti is also agreeing with them. Arju is also agreeing with them. Oh, everyone seems to agree with them. And Debolina says A. Good. Pooja. Harshita, everyone, majority is sticking with C and time's up. All right, Deepa quickly voted for D. All right, now, why would, what was the reason for your choice? Nostalgia, I told you, right? Nostalgia had to do something with the past and I was very nostalgic about Shaktiman serials back then. And I never anticipated that something will happen in the future. I never anticipated that in the future a Shaktiman movie may come. So nostalgia had something to do with the past while anticipation has something to do with future. And therefore the option is C. But that's not my interest. My interest here is not in giving you the solution as I said. My interest here is in training you to solve this question. Now, when you saw the question, it was a big text, a lot of text in one screen. First thing you have to do is weed out or remove whatever you do not want and pick only the necessary information from the question. In this case, the necessary information is Nostalgia and anticipation. Two words. Use those two words and then look at the options to come to conclusion. All right. So first thing is remove all the unnecessary words. Focus on what is needed. And once that is done, as you are all pointing out, Preeti said, Preeti and An Anuka said, anticipation is thinking about the future. Nostalgia is about the past. And then you can make the relation. Go ahead, choose the option. Well, one more interesting thing. Vijaya said guessing. And in fact, it is a really good thing, especially when I'm teaching mathematics. I would always say, you should guess. Guessing is the first thing you should do. So that's perfectly fine, Vijaya. Because as I said, I'm very happy that you tried to guess. Because what happens is, sometimes we will say, oh, I don't know these words, so let me not try. But instead, what you did is, I don't know these words, but I'm still ready to try. It's okay to make a mistake when you're learning. And good that you stepped in and made a guess, because as you practice, you'll see that your guesses get more precise and you will be able to answer correctly. So, yes, Omkar, the final answer is C. So when you practice, guess. And as you practice more, you see that your guesses will get become more perfect. All right, getting back. It's never about the solution. Understand the question. From the question, what should I focus on? And what should I ignore? Focus on what is needed and ignore what is not needed so that you can quickly find the connection and therefore, start solving the question. And what kind of facts do you think you will require to solve these questions? Obviously, 
it is your vocabulary you need to build your vocabulary in words common words and synonyms that is words with similar meaning antonyms that is words with opposing meaning and few other things like work and workplace and few things of that sort you'll have to build some common vocabulary common words you have to familiarize yourself with so we will see some questions where some of these sections are covered which were asked in the past in different gate exams going forward well next question is about oasis is to sand as island is to dash well i'm going to start the timer i'm going to wait for your responses in the chat box whichever is the option quick go ahead post it in the chat box it's perfectly fine to guess it's perfectly fine if your answer is wrong but try which is the which of the options maintains similar logical relation in the above sentence well c c omkar is always in doubt he would be he first time as well he was like c c is it <laughs> yes almost everyone is voting for c but this time we have uh, mixed responses c d b wonderful a is feeling left out well anyway let's see time's up all right you can keep posting i'll go ahead and try to explain what it means oasis is as muskan pointed out oasis is about a oasis is a lake or a green lake and whenever there is a lake there will be trees around it so almost like a lake in middle of a desert while an island is a land in middle of sea so oasis is a lake in middle of sand and while an island is a island island is a landmass in middle of water well how many of you are hearing the word oasis and island for the first time island most probably all of us will know right what about oasis yeah fertile wet area island is more of a dry area true well can you confirm if the stream is all right because uh, youtube is showing a bit of error saying is there a delay in the stream by any chance yes i as is first time and yeah that is sometimes sometimes these words we don't come across more often right and also i don't know if you have noticed sometimes we tend to not learn these uh, words starting with o or vowels we tend to ignore them a bit that happens with me a lot all right yeah thank you for confirming that it's working youtube is uh, throwing a bit a bit of error saying there is some error with this buffering but yeah thank thank you for confirming that things are fine now going forward was this is this question clear any questions any doubts on this so see how one more thing that i want to emphasize on is the word similar here it is talking about similarity it's not talking about exactly the same it's saying how are they connected similarity between these ideas and how do you identify that similarity and how do you use it to find the answer that you are required to oasis is surrounded by sand while an island is surrounded by 
water. All right, going forward. Well, again, it is very important to be reading as well as writing. A doctor is not going to ignore new surgery practices. Remember, we started the session. When we started the session, I said, I used to read a lot when I was a child and that helped me build my vocabulary. So for a doctor, like new surgery practices that he should keep himself updated with, for a read for a writer reading books or articles are much required to build up their vocabulary to develop their writing skills so for a doctor as new surgery practices are equally important is for a writer all of us are writers because in one way or the other all of us have to write at some point of time reading helps us improve our vocabulary and Better our vocabulary, better our writing is going to be. Now, I hope you have made note of some words that caught your attention in this. Let's go to the next question. Dash is to surgery as writer is to dash. Which of the following options maintain a similar logical relation in the above sentence? This question is from Gate 2021. And the options are plan, outline, hospital, library, doctor, book, medicine. Option D is medicine, grammar. All right, I'm starting the timer. Go ahead, give it a shot and post your thoughts in the chat box. Which option would you pick? Yes, it's flooding seas. Um, Waiting to see if someone has a difference of opinion. That's wonderful if, and it's perfectly fine. As we are learning, it's good if we have different views. Oh, everyone knows. Shiksha is very confident that it's C. All right. Ayushi, Vijaya, and the time is running out. Quick. All right, the time is almost over and everyone together is voting for C. Good, interesting. Now, I hope you already got an idea of what I mean by, what I meant by, I'll be telling some facts and stories in between and that may come helpful later in the Later, where, later during the, when we are solving the questions. The code we shared had the answer to this question. So, how is it done? Let's fade out all the pointless words or uh, all the unnecessary words and focus on what is required. Dash is to surgery as dash is to dash. Now, dash is to surgery as writer is to dash. Now, surgery is a act which is done, while a writer is the one who does an action. Therefore, one who does... All right, yeah, uh, Pooja, is it still buffering? Let me see. Yeah, uh... Is it all right now? Is it back to, is the video back in? All right, yeah. Anyway, uh, my streaming software seems to be slowing down. Well, so here, yes, audio is clear, but video is buffering. All right, yeah, let me see. Let me try to fix it. There is some issue with the streaming software. I'll be back in a minute. Just uh, give me a second. There are some issues with the software. I'll quickly fix it and get back online in a minute.
just a second uh, there seems to be some problem with the streaming software so yeah is it back is the video back in uh, is the video back Can you please confirm if the video is back and uh, restored? All right, now there is a lag. All right, I'll just uh, quickly try another trick yeah all right yes so sorry for the delay i'll just uh, reset the stream from another device All right, is it fixed? Can you confirm if it's fixed? All right, yeah, let's get back to the session. I'm sorry, this, I haven't streamed in a long time, so uh, uh, I haven't streamed in a long time, time so the a bit of technical glitch because of that. Is the video and audio back in action? Is this is it fine now? All right, well. So to get back to the question, writer is the one who does the act and surgery is the action. Therefore, one who does surgery is the doctor and writer works on book. He writes a book. Therefore, obviously similar logical relation is most agreed by option C, doctor and book i hope it is clear sorry for the interruption we will go forward if everything is clear and if you have understood this question all right now here's again another quote your best teacher is your last mistake i'm pretty sure many of you have heard this already well, I'm not interested in the court here. I'm more of interested in the way they have written it. Your best teacher is your last mistake. See the penmanship. Penmanship is the penmanship is about writing, the right handwriting that we are talking about. Your best teacher. This is called calligraphy. And calligraphy has to do with pen. And writing there are many pens which are specifically designed for calligraphy and I'm sure that there may be someone who is interested and someone who is experienced in calligraphy here if, you, if there is someone who knows what calligraphy is or is into calligraphy please go ahead put it in the comment box I would love, love to know more all right with that small context I am going to the next question Pen is to write as knife is to what? The options are vegetables, sharp, cut, and blunt. I'll start the timer and I'll wait for your responses in the chat box. Harsha, Harshita, Shahimol, Muskan, Shikha, Ayushi, Sanjay, Anuka, Omkar, 
Well, everyone is agreeing to C and Prince is so excited that it's C. Good. Everyone is voting for C. Wonderful. Well, we can easily write using Autodesk sketchbook. A pen of it was the okay. All right. Yes, uh, Autodesk. I am simply using PowerPoint to keep it simple. I do have the entire setup to write in. Well, C C C hundred percent. It someone is confident and C for cut. Yes. Pen is used for writing and knife is used to cut. You are right. Now, there's not many words to fade out here. The text of the question is something that I could fade out. Pen is used to write while a knife is used to cut. Notice, if I say pen is used to write in a book and if the connection was pen and book, then vegetables might have made sense. But here it is very specific, pen to write. And similar logical idea is knife to cut. The words sharp and blunt here has something to do with knife. A sharp knife is a knife which is very sharp and it, it can cut so easily. A blunt knife is with a knife which is not sharp enough. So those two words have something to do with knife, but given the relation of pen being used to write, knife, the right word here is again C, used to cut. All right, so the option is C. Now, again, re repeat. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, you're talking about calligraphy. Yes, Vijaya. True. Uh, Autodesk has quite a lot of features too. Right. Uh, Vijaya is uh, experiencing some lag. What about others? All right. Now, yes, it is a very specific detail about knife and it's very tricky, right? There is words related to knife there and you have to carefully choose one which retains a similar logical relationship. Well, let's go ahead and today morning, Krusty sir was talking to you about homophones, right? And let me bring in some words which are related. Every word may have a synonym. A synonym is audio is okay and video is lagging. All right. I hope it catches up. Now, All right, so a synonym is a word which has same meaning as the other word. An antonym has the opposite meaning. Given word, it has the opposite meaning of the given word. And a homonym is something that you, many of you may not be familiar with. A homonym is words which are spelled exactly the same but it is, it has an entirely different meaning. For example, here, beat has synonym of beat is defeat. And antonym, that is the opposite of getting defeated is losing. Sorry, defeating, opposite of defeating someone is losing to someone. Now, Beat also has another meaning. Beating someone in one context, in another context, if you say the beat of the music, same spelling but different meaning. All right. So when you are improving your vocabulary, sometimes same spelling may have different meaning. Keep that in mind. Also, I'll bring something else to your attention here. Now,
Well, this homonym, H-O-M-O -O means like in Greek and N-Y-M means meaning, nim, onim means meaning. So same meaning, synonym, same meaning, homonym, sorry, nim means name. I said it wrong, nim means name. So homonym means same name but different meaning. Synonym means same meaning, different word. Antonym means opposite me opposite of the word that you are using. Opposite name of the word that you are using. All right. Now, fine. Yeah, beating a cake. Yes, that also comes. That's another homonym. That's another homonym meaning of the word beat. True. Now, fine. Synonymous, good. Antonymous, something was fine, good. And now, antonymous, the opposite meaning, terrible. But fine can also mean thin. A fine line, a thin line. Fine can also mean I paid the fine. And someone right now said the right meaning. Sir, video is fine now. So the word fine has multiple meanings. At the same time, you should familiarize yourself with words synonym, antonym and homonym. Similarly, tender also means soft. Opposite of soft is rough. At the same time, tender a change, legal money, exchange of money. Now, I'm going to give you a few minutes. Can you give me some of the words along with their synonyms? antonyms and homonyms in the chat box. Can you try some words? It's okay to be less precise, but give a shot. Some words, pick some words, try to give it synonym, antonym and homonym. Antonyms are of interest to us because some questions we are going to do deal with antonyms. Yes. All right. I think there's a delay in the video and the tender for meat. Yeah, that also means soft. Same idea. Soft meat. Yes. All right. Well, I am unsure if uh, the video is lagging too much, video and the audio is lagging too much. Uh, put in your responses in the chat box. I'll go ahead to the next question. Yes, fair. Fair? What all meanings does fair have? Fair can mean to play fairly, to play justly to play without cheating. At the same time, fair can also mean a little lighter complexion. True, laugh and cry is the antonym, possible. And right, oh yes, right has, right is a good word. It can have, it can mean homonym, oh, all right, yeah, Muskan, there is something that you have to notice. Homonym and homophones are different. All right. A homonym. So a homonymous. Same spelling. Everything is the same. And a homophone. What Krishna sir talked about today morning is. Same sound. All right. A homonymous. Same word that is bear. We had uh, we had other words, right? Yeah, beat. Beat. Same spelling has different meaning. That is a homonym. A homophone is similar sounding word like fair and fair. They are two different things. 
All right. Yes, charge. We charge a phone or charge towards a person. That's right, Pooja. And right, right, right thing to say, taking a right, they are homonyms. Antonymous, antonym of right, right thing to say, correct thing to say is wrong. True. All right. Well, going forward, I hope it is clear what is a homonym and what is the difference between homophone and homonym. They are two different things. You are talking about homophones today morning. You are talking about homonym now. Now, we do have questions which deal with homonym. That's why I talked about it. One good thing about uh, one app that helped me a lot to build my vocabulary or keep practicing my vocabulary is nudge.me now there is no this is not a commercial or anything this is an app that helped me and it is fairly interesting it's a game that it's almost like a game you play a game to build your vocabulary and it's just five minutes a day quite a lot of vocabulary you can build and they have some games they grade it like simple games simple words and then they'll raise the difficulty and slowly they'll go to very advanced and very rare words so this word, this is more of, I believe, in gamification. What, what we mean by gamification is through games you learn. This is one of the ways you can play games and learn, build your vocabulary. All right. So just wanted to suggest a game, five minutes a day, that can possibly help you build your vocabulary. All right. Let's go to the next question. Here... It is given cover is to uncover as associate is to what? You have to select the right word that fits the analogy. Unassociate, inassociate, misassociate, and disassociate. Go ahead, put your thoughts in the chat box, and I am starting the timer right now. Cover is to uncover as associate is to what? Well, Harsha has opted for D. Abjorn is voting for D. Good. Kripa is voting for D. D, D. Shiksha is confident. Shiga is opting for D. Wonderful. Majority is confidently opting for D. That's good. All right. Time's up. And all of you are right. But what is the tricky part of this question? What exactly makes this question a bit tricky? Cover, uncover. To cover something and to uncover something. That is to remove the cover. To cover is to Put something over it and hide it and uncover is and hide it remove the cover like that associate we are the relation here is antonyms antonym of cover is uncover antonym of associate is that's a tricky part here well all the options look very tricky right un associate in associate those are the words that we use those are the prefixes that we used to use to create antonyms misassociate disassociate and the right antonym here is disassociate all right others sound very almost correct but the right one is disassociate the right word all right, the relationship here is antonyms. That brings me to something interesting. We usually, in English, as many of you may know, words, yes, associate can, can be a homonym. Same word may mean different things, but yes, true, true, Puja. 
So coming to negative prefixes, there are a handful of negative prefixes we should be aware of. Dis, un, in, im, ill. They are all negative pre prefixes which is used to say this is not whatever the next word stands for. For example, literate, illiterate, mature, immature, un, unassociate, associate, wait, no, we cannot randomly use it. All of them are used very carefully in coining the word. Disassociate, un, can you tell me one word and its antonym with un? We already had one, right? Cover, uncover. Well, is there a trick to remember un, dis, miss, as prefix in antonym? It's mostly practice and I'll definitely try to see, as in there are certain rules involved, but I'll definitely try to see how I can explain it a bit simpler. Maybe in the next session, I'll try to try explain it in a simpler way so that everyone can understand because uh, often what happens is even if we know the answer if your explanation is not too clear it might confuse the listeners so i'll do one thing i'll definitely make a note of it and in one of the future sessions i'll try to explain if there is any trick to remember these prefixes yes able unable unwind wind unwind that sounds a bit Odd, but yeah, works. Fair, unfair. Faithful, unfaithful. True. And then there are other negative prefixes. Non and a. Uh. Symmetric, asymmetric. Without symmetry. Non. Verbal, non-verbal. Believable, unbelievable. True. Yeah. And then there is one guy who is going to stand out. Anti. He means, I'm opposed to it. Andy virus against virus. <laughs> well, true, Muskan, unfriend, friend, and unfriend. That's something that got popular with uh, social media, right? True, true. All right, so make a note of these and try to distinguish these words. As uh, someone asked, as I think Muskan asked, I'll definitely get back to that question on how to. Any tricks to remember where these words are popping up? All right. Now, quickly, we'll do a few questions. We are running out of time already. Quickly, we'll work on some questions and go ahead. Partial, impartial. As popular as to, can you quickly try out the word? I'm starting the timer. Put your thoughts in the chat box aging and aging yes true all right give a shot to the question and put it in the chat box put your thoughts in the chat box again we are talking about antonyms the cul the term the relation here is antonyms in fact there's a gate 2019 now even the previous questions were gate 2019 questions and there seems to be a pattern antonyms seems to be favored a lot in this type of questions yes everyone is confident about d and that is one word that we use a lot in the social media context right someone is very popular and they are equally some are unpopular true so notice first three are using the right first three options are using the right prefixes right prefixes in the sense negative prefixes but they are not the right words right word is unpopular all right I hope you understood in that case but also notice this how they are tricking partial impartial and then they are saying find 
the word that fits the analogy. If you are going by the pattern, you may be tempted to pick partial and impartial. Like that, popular and impopular, but that is wrong. Yes, uh, true Preeti, it's a word which is very much used in schools and college. Well, that's true, that's very, very much true. All right, now, let's quickly do a few more questions and go ahead to, uh, because we are running out of time. Do undo, as trust is to what? Again, relation, relationship here is very, very much clear. It is antonyms. Now, do is to undo as trust is to what? Put in your thoughts in the chat box. I'm starting the timer. Sorry. Yeah. All right, yes, Harsha. I'm sorry for the slight change. It was. Yes, option C. Many are voting for option C. But here, there's a small trick, tricky part here. All right, now, going forward, many of you have voted for C and D. So, distrust or untrust. Can you quickly Google and see which one of them it is? It's tricky, right? Untrust or distrust. Do, undo. And there seems to be, option A seems to be valid. It seems to be a valid word of entrust. Entrust is a valid English word. Do, undo, as trust is to distrust. Distrust is a word because, again, notice here, entrust is a word that has something to do with trust. But, interest is about trusting more. Again, trusting. But here the relation is antonym. Therefore, do undo. While, trust is to distrust, not trust the person. Alright? I hope it is clear. So, interest is not a word. And untrust, is it a word? Entrust means being responsible, as in being trusting the person to be responsible, or being trusting that person and trusting that person with something to do. All of that falls under entrust. Yes, entrust. Notice how in the previous question, all the options were in the previous question, all the options were. Wrong, uh, all the options except the right one were wrong. But in this question, notice how one option is a valid word, but has a different meaning. Well, quickly, one more set of questions we'll wind up. Anagrams. Anagrams is different words given and mixing those letters to find words from it. So I'm going to give you this anagram, T-A-C-O-N-I. List down maximum words possible from these letters. Quickly use the chat box to give that.
what are the possible words that you can create from this Yes, action, coin, act, act and action, using all the letters or using few of those letters, anything is fine. Using all the letters, only option that in your, everyone can find is action, good. Coin, enact, enact, inact, enact, is it I-N-A-C-T or... Optional, you can use multiple words as well. All right, there are a lot of icon, con, act, cat, taco. That's some good thinking. Cation, C A T I O N. Is that a word? Now, how many such possible combinations are there? Krishi sir has already taught you, right? How many such possible combinations of letters are possible? I'm not talking about sensible words. How many possible combinations are the ion not? Yes, anti. Krishna has taught you how many combinations are possible, right? Well, there's a lot of words which popped in. My interest is in the two words that stood out again and again. At and actions yeah true shik uh, shiksha number of possibilities is 720 but every one of those possibility need not be a sensible word all right act and action are the words that i want to fo focus on going forward next one cook cook fly cook is to cook as fly is to what there are options flyer Flying, flu, flighter. I have started the timer. Put your thoughts in the chat box. Cook is to cook as fly is to what? Majority is again voting for C because till now most questions had C as the answer. But uh, maybe I'm tricking you by pointing, by tuning the answer in a certain tone. All right. Don't just randomly pick just because randomly assume a pattern. All right, here in this case, time's up. So let me go to the question. Cook, cooking or a cook, cooks. Cooking is done by a cook. See, this is a homonym. Same word, different meaning. Cooking is done by a cook as flying is done by a flyer. So, the right option in this case is flyer. Act and the person. Act, fly and done by a flyer. Alright, it's a very tricky one in fact here because very tricky because cook and cook. You don't know which is the order. Is it, are they saying cooking, 
cook cooking is done by cook or cook does cooking but if you look at the second word second set fly fly is the act therefore cook in the first one should be the act and the other word cook should be the one who does the cooking the word i want to point out is homonym therefore cook and cook are homonyms with different meanings therefore fly and the act is done by flyer all right now finally one more question for that the hint is in this comic this is one of my favorite all-time favorite comics called Calvin and Hobbes and Calvin and Hobbes is about a little boy who is very close to his tiger it is actually a dumb uh, uh, doll tiger's doll but uh, the in the boy's imagination the tiger comes to life when he is alone with the doll so okay so what if the fly here yeah anuka i'm sorry I, the comments are coming a bit late for me but yes if the fly stands for house fly you should look at the options there the options are very carefully pointing towards fly as an act and flyer as the one who does the fly yes all right so quickly read through this it's talking about two friends and imagine you sneaking on your friend and all of a sudden your friend quickly has a quick reflex you're about to sneak and scare the friend and turns out your friend surprises you back lightning quick reflexes so i'm going to point at this I am going to point at this and say that there is a hint towards the next question in this particular question. All right, the next question is white as to whitening is light as to what? Now, go ahead, try this question and I have started the timer. I'm sorry, I'm getting the comment, comments a bit late. So even though I have come to the next slide, I'm talking about clarif clarifying the other things because uh, comments are coming a bit late for me here in the chat box. All right, give a shot to this question. Post your thoughts in the chat box. All right, now there is a split of opinion. Is it lightning or lightening or lighting? Interesting. And interestingly, most of you did not choose A because lightning stands for thunder and lightning, the bolt, lightning bolt. Therefore, most of you are confused between B and C. And the right option is option B, to lighten, to lighten the Lord, to lower or to make the shade come down a bit more brighter, is lighten. And therefore, like white and whitening, the correct relation here is light and lightening. All right. 
since the chat is a bit slow i am just going ahead hoping that all of you understood if not put it in the chat box i'll get back to the question and try to explain well here's again and the movie that i like a lot i'll not tell you the movie the movie tells you something which many of us wish i hope you wish to hear during these exam days falling down is how we grow staying down is how we die so it's always about getting right back up after you fall down it's about never giving up fighting hard all right so any guesses which movie it is put it in the chat box and so due to the delay i am guessing that uh, i'm just going to give a minute's pause to get your responses before i continue two or three more questions and we'll wind up or hopefully by 10 20 or 25 gladiator true shika the movie is gladiator those who do not know gladiators so earlier there were different kinds of sports back in when rome was in power now one of those sports were they used to make people fight against each other and people used to watch that as a sport so gladiators are about people especially slaves fighting with each other and people used to watch that as a sport they used to fight in a place called arena an arena is a place where gladiators used to fight so a gladiator is a person who fights in an arena now with that context let me ask you next question gladiator is to arena and the question consists of a pair of related words followed by four pair of words select a pair which best expresses the relation in the original pair shiksha says this is the first time i'm starting the timer and uh, shiksha says this is the first time he's seeing the actor actor is russell crow this is a wonderful english movie and that's one of my favorites there are many wonderful things you can learn from that movie all right give a shot to the question give your thoughts in the chat box yes we have mixed responses option a option d and shiksha is so confident about a shiksha is also opting for a waiting for others all right many words are for a well times up so let's go see what exactly it is let's fade out whatever is unnecessary and focus on what is needed gladiator is to arena as i mentioned a gladiator performs in an arena a dancer performs on the stage now a commuter travels in the train a teacher teaches in classroom lawyer works in courtroom but only a dancer performs on stage therefore the right you should notice this select the pair that best expresses select the pairs that best expresses the relation all right so the words that best express this relation is dancer is to stage vijay says watch ba watch uh, bahubali rrr pushpa yes of course and i would say i would always uh, i usually panic if i'm studying before just before the exam if i, if I study a lot before exam uh, so what happens is just before exams i would always try to 
stick to relax as in two or three days before exams i'll try to unwind stop studying start focusing on whatever i studied so far just recollect not study anything new and sometimes watch movies because that calms me down anyway good movie suggestions that vijaya has going forward just want to point this out work and workplaces a teacher works at a school or a college a chef works in a restaurant a doctor works at a hospital a lawyer works in courtroom a journalist works in a newspaper or a newsroom or a television channel news channel all right so with that context one more question and we'll wind up the session a court is to a judge as dash is to a teacher. Options are a student, a punishment, a syllabus, and a school. Starting the timer, put your thoughts in the chat box. Put your thoughts in the chat box. Yes. There are many option D's coming in. And Connecting words are what is the relation here is pretty clear, right? Going forward, a court is to a judge. Let's fade out unnecessary words and focus only on what is needed. Court, judge, dash, teacher. Judge works in court, a teacher works in a school. Therefore, option D is the right answer. This is again from gate to 2019. And with that, I'll stop because it's been, it's already uh, almost 10, 20. So with that, I'll stop for now. There are many more questions which are asked. This question used to be repeatedly, used to repeatedly appear in back in 2010, 11, 12, 13. And then there was a time when such questions were not openly asked in GATE. But recently in 2019, 21, there were repeated questions, which analogy questions from verbal ability in gate so there are many more questions we'll be posting them in the cha telegram channel try out if you have any doubt you can always ask that so again for this question a court is where a judge works similarly a school is where the teacher works therefore right answer is option d i'll end the session with just one court which says Vocabulary enables us to interpret and to express. If you have a limited vocabulary, you will also have limited vision and a limited future. At times, this is why we should develop our vocabulary. It helps us talk better. It helps us express our feelings better. Therefore, I hope you are all motivated to build your vocabulary, not just for the exam, but but also to better express yourself your thoughts and your actions and with that note i'll end the session good night everyone i hope the session was useful sorry for the glitches we'll try to fix it in coming days all right good night and if you have any thoughts or any questions you can ask i'll wait for a while please use the chat box thank you all and good night If there are any questions you can put it in the chat box i'll wait for a while if not please go ahead we'll wind up the session thank you christy thank you for the opportunity the channel uh, we started the channel together back in 2000 
16 if i remember correctly but uh, i never appeared in the channel directly you might have heard my voice in the shorts that we are doing right now so thank you christy for pushing me to get back active on the channel good night everyone yes uh, preeti isn't adina a place for fighting yes but uh, consider it this way adina is a place where they perform so gladiators were considered to be performers it was a very blood blood shedding blood bloody sport but it, gladiators were considered to be performers rather than fighters so they used to fight their fighting was considered to be performance uh sir do you know hindi yes i do a bit but not too confident to talk fluently but thoda thoda aata hai hindi magar i am pretty sure there were many mistakes in whatever i said all right <laughs> All right, uh, Kriva. Hopefully soon, Christy and I will be taking sessions in coming week. Sometimes we'll try our best to keep one session where we take the session together. That's something we love to do. Sometimes we take the sessions together. We'll try to do that once. Let's see. Uh, Preeti, is your doubt clear? All right. Yeah, uh, I'm getting the chats a little late, so I'm sorry if the video is. say uh, the video comes answer in the video comes a little later all right i'll end the stream now if there are any questions make use of the telegram group christy or i will get back to you for now good night see you all soon again and i hope the session was useful for you All right, pre. I uh, considered it as this. Uh, gladiators fought. It's in the place. Okay, like lawyer fought in a courtroom. All right. Yeah, that's a very sensible connection. Actually, lawyer fought in a courtroom. But lawyer, law. Law. Sometimes it intensifies into a fight, but not always. A lawyer is actually. arguing a case in the courtroom he they are not fighting but the he is doing his job in the courtroom the a gladiator is actually performing in how it was perceived back then all right we'll end the session now good night everyone any questions you can always get back to us on the telegram group or other mods mentioned in the description good night